Welcome back 3D Farmers. In our previous video, we laid out the blueprint for launching your 3D printing side hustle in just three steps. But let's face it, theories alone won't pay the bills. Today, we're gonna walk the talk and dive headfirst into the real deal, creating an Etsy listing from scratch in just 24 hours. I'm Jan Jan, the owner of a six-figure Etsy store, and guess what? I'm about to share the secrets that transformed my passion for 3D printing into a thriving business. Buckle up, because time is ticking and we are turning those digital files into real sales. Let's go! Yes, we have a new intro now. Amazing, huh? Do you like it? With exactly 9 a.m. here in Switzerland and everything good starts with a coffee. So, now we can start. What was step number one again? If you haven't watched that video, I will link the video right here or in the description. Step one is to get your printer. Or two. Do we really need two? If we only have 24 hours, we better use both of them. The printers are ready. Now it's time for step two, to find the niche and the product. Let's leverage the power of AI to find our first product. We have spring here in Switzerland and a lot of people are starting to grow their plants. Let's see what ChatGPT can tell us. Okay, so we have planters, vases, seed starter, avocado seed floater. Okay, that's very interesting. I always wanted to grow an avocado tree, but never succeeded. I always forgot to refill the water. So let's design an avocado boat that holds the seed perfectly in place. To the drawing board, let's start with some simple shapes. fix some dimensions and here we have something that looks a bit like avocado. Let's extrude it and add some wedges to hold the seat in place. You probably need three of them so the seat does not just fall through. And then we're gonna make it look a bit nicer, add some rounds and here we have our first MVP, the minimal viable product. We slice it in bamboo slicer and here we go, the first try. Since we are running out of time, we're gonna speed it up. You can see that I'm using lightning infill to speed up the process. And here we go. Let's see if it floats. Fill it up and throw in our product. Oh, it floats. Okay, it's a bit tilted, but that's a lot better than expected. Let's improve it. First, let's go multicolor. Avocado on the outside normally dark green and in the inside yellow. Let's add this layer to make it more realistic. Here we go. That's how avocado should look like. Let's slice it again, split it, make it yellow in the middle. Now let's solve the problem with the tilt. We're gonna add a modifier and increase the infill, so add some weight. This should help. Let's slice it up and use our both printers to go for the second iteration. Another two hours less on the clock. Let's push it. Let's see how the second iteration performs. Okay, looks a lot more like avocado. It's still a bit tilted, but this we can fix. Let's add the avocado face to it, whatever that means. Let's start with two eyes, a smiling mouth, and make it black. Perfect. Back to the slicer we go, split the parts, and add even more infill to get the tilt right. Now we're gonna print it with the AMS. Here we go. The third time is the charm, right? Oh, looking nice. Let's add avocado. I think we have our product. Nice. Eight hours have flown by and we've successfully completed the design of our new product. However, our journey is far from over. It's time to recharge and prepare for the challenges that awaits us tomorrow. First on our agenda is to capture some eye-catching product images. Following that, we'll be setting up our complete Etsy store with a custom logo, banner and bio. Once that's done, we'll create a listing from scratch and start our selling journey. Are you curious to see if we can pull this off by 9 a.m. tomorrow? If so, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on part two of our adventure. See you then. And until then, happy printing, 3D Farmers.